So Jake and I went out to the store as soon as the stores opened up, well like a week later, went out to the store so we could go try out some new mattress sets because currently we are sleeping on the floor. We've been sleeping on a mattress on the floor for a good four and a half months now. So we went out to go try out mattresses at our local sleep country and we tested them all out. They had papers that you could spread on them. How the hell are you supposed to figure out what kind of mattress to buy? There's memory foam, inner spring, like nobody ever tells you what what to buy how much you're supposed to spend on it apparently you're supposed to spend as much as you can afford because a mattress is a good investment adulting you know <laughs> nobody tells you things like this how do you pick a mattress we found one we liked it's an inner spring one i'm sure it's fine it was like a mattress and box spring set and we sort of timed it so that the new bed set from wafer canada and the new mattress set arrives looking like the same day we'll see if that actually pans out so i will show you guys the bedroom set when it arrives i think it's gonna look really nice it's a nice upholstery set. It's called the Amora Amara set from the Joss and Main collection on Wayfair. It has really good reviews and I'm stoked. I've been trying out this Madame Glam gel nail polish kit that I got in the mail. I actually have one of the colors on my nails right now. I think it's a perfect bridal color. I put it on specifically last weekend because I was trying wedding dresses on for the first time which is exciting and I think it just like fit the mood and it's perfect for wedding vibes you know so on the madame glam website you can choose from a bunch of different colors i chose a bunch of nude shades and then it came with the bottom coat that uses the base before you apply the color and then it came with a top coat that seals the color and then after i do the top coat and i seal it underneath the led light i take rubbing alcohol and just put it on a piece of like either a cotton pad or a piece of toilet paper and then i rub it on top and that's how i get rid of that sticky feeling afterwards and that's how i get it off super simple i just like press it over top of each nail good to go and then one feature about the bottle that i love is they show the nail polish color right on the top of the bottle i don't know if any of you guys have this problem but when i store my nail polishes in a drawer you can't tell which is which, which is so annoying. You have to keep taking each nail polish bottle out to see what color you're gonna get. This is genius. It solves that issue because you can see the color of the nail polish from the top of the bottle. Like with a lot of gel polishes, I find that they're all in the same color bottle. They're all in like a white or like a black labeled bottle. And so I never know what color they are. So I have to individually open up every single bottle. So kudos to them for implementing that as a design decision on their packaging. Love that. Picked up these three shades. This first one is XOXO. It's like a nudie, um, sort of dark taupe color. And the applicator wand is really nice as well. And then this is the one that I have on my nails now. So this one is called Ballerina. This is what it looks like on my nails. This burnt orange one is called, it's like less burnt orange, more like toffee colored. This is called Coffee Time. And so the kit that I got actually came with a little light and it's a mini UV light to set the gel polishes. And it's so stinking cute. So small. So it just looks like this straight out of the packaging and then you flip up these little legs and that's how it sits on the table you could totally take this traveling comes with this little usb charger super compact takes up barely any space this is amazing i love 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 this one thing that you will know is that my bigger lamp you're able to sort of stack your hands on top of each other like this is how i would usually do it with the travel size one you pretty much just want to fit one hand in and at a time just because it's not as wide so if you guys are interested in checking out madame glam polishes they have lots of other colors up on their website i will put all the information in the description box below the discount codes i will list all those down there for you as well so check out the description bar i'll put all the info in there for you our bed just arrived from wayfair it's massive and really heavy so we're unpacking it right now figured we'd unpack it down here so that all the cardboard would stay down here instead of bringing it up to our bedroom there's a peek at the fabric the fabric is so cute it's so perfect and i think it's gonna look amazing we also ordered a new mattress and box spring so we're gonna wait for that to come so that we can put it all together at the same time i think we're gonna build the bed frame tomorrow and then the mattress delivery is scheduled for the day after that so that way bed frame is already built man do a white glove service bring in the box spring bring in the new mattress and we've ordered some new bedding jake was wanting to get us a new duvet as well he was like well if we're gonna go big on getting an all new bed set new mattress you know spending that big investment then let's just get everything all new find a new duvet cover maybe we'll take a look at home sense 
or Bed Bath & Beyond or something. I just want to keep it nice and simple. Right now we have this sort of palm leafy print. I want it to be a bit more mature, just something nice, clean, simple. We have this nice linen bed frame now. I am taking major inspo from Gretchen Garrity on YouTube. She just posted her apartment tour and I'm in love. That was sort of like the inspo for the bed frame. Her room just looked so tranquil and nice and I was really digging it. So that's sort of the inspo that I was going for with the bed set yeah that's the plan so i will show you guys a sneak peek of the bed before it's built um it might be a few days before that takes place so i'm not sure if that'll be in this vlog or the next vlog but stay tuned for that i've been wanting to make a gallery wall in our living room over there and i picked up some black frames from dollarama they were four dollars a piece it was the best price i could find for something with an 8x10 matting now i'm just disassembling them and we will get them up on the wall. So yesterday, Jay came home with this lobster mac and cheese from Farm Boy, and he said that he went there on his lunch break because he saw this new product on a TikTok that he was watching the other night, and so he went and got it for me for International Women's Day. <laughs> so I love mac and cheese so much. That was so sweet of him. So we just cooked it up, and he took half of it for his lunch, and I'm gonna go and eat that shortly but we just got our new mattress delivered so i'll show you guys what that looks like so i'm going to give you guys a peek at what the bed looks like i'll sit up now we built it the other night and then sleep country came and did the white glove delivery service and dropped off the box springs and the new king mattress this is a look at the bed all set up we constructed it last night i'll give you a nice up close view of the fabric it's a nice linen fabric it matches everything in the room we have our little rug there i have to just adjust it with where we're going to permanently put the bed and then we'll get you know nightstands for here we're just making do with something in the meantime we ordered a new mattress from sleep country we went with the kings down ellison mattress i believe and then the standard box spring so that's a nine inch box spring and then i believe the mattress is about 13 inches tall which makes it the perfect height for the underside of the headboard so the bottom of the headboard is right here and the mattress is just barely over top of it so i think that was the way to go as opposed to getting a low profile box spring that would have been five inches so it sits down here probably yay high and then i think we would have come up short of the headboard originally we we're thinking of just getting the low profile box spring sort of did the math after we had placed the order and i called them back right away and they changed it to the standard profile milo sleeps in this bed with us every night so i think he's just as excited for this new comfy cozy bed it's a big jump up for him though i hope he'll be able to manage oh my gosh you're so cute bubby you like it like your new bed so we got two twin XL box springs, so it's actually in two, so it's easier to fit up the stairs. I picked up this duvet cover from HomeSense. I really liked it because of the waffle knit texture to it, but it's really awkward. It doesn't go over the side of the bed. That's what it looks like on that side. So this material is stretchy. It's kind of puckering. I even tried rotating it. Nothing worked. If it's supposed to lay like this in front of the bed, then it's super short up here, and it doesn't even cover the rest of the bed. So I think I'm just going to end up returning it quite honestly and a king size duvet cover online it says it's about 96 inches by 104 inches give or take it really depends on the brand but this one is measuring at 73 by 74 inches which is nowhere near a king size duvet cover home sense has really not been very reliable for me in terms of having things that measure accurately just like my curtains if you guys had watched that vlog picked up curtains they said they were 96 inches took them out of the package they were 84 inches so i had to return them after i had hung them up on the curtain rod and then realized that they, they were too short i found another one actually it was from bed bath and beyond it's called the vera wang waffle knit duvet cover something along that line and i found it actually in stock on sale on overstock.com as well as on amazon so i just decided to get it off amazon so it should be here within a few days so hopefully that one is not quite as stretchy of a fabric and it hangs a little bit nicer and then we got my little monkey here who's taking another nap on the bed he definitely approves of the new bed is a good sunspot good morning little. everyone so we just got our amazon delivery i was able to return the other one to home sense which is great and pick this one up on sale from amazon so i will show you guys what it looks like on the bed workout it's 
still quite wrinkly and we want to get the proper decorative pillows but that looks nice and it's got this nice textured weave to it so that's going to be the end of the vlog today make sure to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up i would love to have you guys join in on more videos in the future and i'll talk to you guys later bye